What drives fashion? Striving to see the scene from the different angle? Constant inner metamorphosis? Maybe severe circumstances which force you to look for the new opportunities? I invite you to look at the unknown for many of us European history and Ukraine as its cradle. What comes to the world's minds when it comes to Ukraine? Chernobyl disaster in 1986, Orange Revolution in 2004, financial crisis in 2008, revolution of dignity in 2014 and the war on the East which still continues. Yes, that's about us, but thanks to those and other events, we have gained endurance and what is more important, we are able to look at things from different perspectives. We are going to tell you about the Ukrainians who have played a vital role in the various spheres. Yaroslav the Wise, the Grand Prince of Rus, under the range of whom the state achieved highest prosperity and was the most powerful country in Europe. Europe's father-in-law, that is the nickname Yaroslav the Wise had for establishing friendly relations with European countries as 60% of modern Europe's royal families have their roots in Yaroslav's family. His daughters were married to the kings of Hungary, Poland, Norway, England and France. Anna Yaroslavna, Yaroslava the wise daughter, one of the most famous and legendary women of the 11th century. She became the Queen of France at the age of 22, the wife of Henry I, King of France. At her wedding, she brought the holy goblet from Kiev, and all the kings would take their oaths on it till 18th century. That was Anna, who initiated the culture of culture, and etiquette, hygiene, and fashion in French. She was good at style and was aware of fabrics quality and impressive clothes. Yuri Kulchitsky, Ukrainian Cossack who taught Europe how to drink coffee in the 17th century and made coffee truly popular there. In June 1683, 140,000 Turkish army began to siege Vienna in order to save the town and seek the support of Charles V, King of Austria, Kulchitsky dressed up as a Turkish merchant and sneaked out through Turkish camp. For that feat, Charles V presented to Kulchitsky estate in Vienna, got him out of taxes for two decades and allowed him to choose the gift. Kulchitsky chose 300 bags of coffee. At the beginning, he had been selling coffee beans from a serving dish, but then he opened the coffee house under Blue Bottle, the first fancy place in Vienna. But truly, famous Kulchitsky became, after inventing his own recipe, coffee with sugar and milk. Yeah, the war discovered Vienna's coffee thanks to Ukrainian. Later, citizens have established monuments to the severe of the city. Wars, crises, inflations, ecological disasters. We have learned how to live with it. More to say, we have learned how to live with it beautifully. We create something new, our own, unique, and avoid standard cliches. And most importantly, alongside with progressive contemporaries, we throw away the world of failure and prominence which we were dressed in for centuries by others. We are the people who had an impact on modern European civilization formation, and we are proud of it. We respect ourselves, our country, our nation. We want to remind you that Ukraine is the cradle of world's culture, fashion and style regardless of whatever challenges we face. 
Today, humanity is trying to overcome the biggest challenge of the 21st century, COVID-19. Our future is formed by personal stories of those who create, experiment and are not afraid of challenges. So, let's look towards the future through the hardship to the stars.